This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Everyone, this is Michelle Fern, your host on Best Bets for Pets. Wouldn't you like to have a little bling for your fur baby? But you know, your fur baby isn't the type to, you know, wear a tiara or dress up in some fancy costume. Well, I have a product that is going to take care of that for you. How you can dress your pooch or kitty with bling and make it easy for you and have them looking fantastic. We'll be right back. Does your dog itch, scratch, stink, or shed like crazy? Come to Dynavite for help. Order a 90-day supply of Dynavite. Dynavite for life. Pick up two tubes of Doggo Suds. Get the third tube free. Peppermint, tea tree, lavender, Doggo Sud shampoo. Made with all-natural coconut, jojoba, aloe. Great for healthy skin and soft, shiny coats. But no itchy, harsh chemicals. Lather up, rinse away. Try Doggo Suds. Buy two, get one free. At Dynavite.com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back, everyone. I'd like to welcome Cheryl Arts. She is the co-founder of Concha Collars. Welcome, Cheryl. Thank you so much, Michelle. Appreciate uh, being here. I am so excited to have you. And so before we get into the description and everything, let's talk about Concha Collars. How did they come to be? Okay, well, for a a majority of my adult life, I had two dogs. Uh, One was named Johnson, uh, who was a rescue Sheltie Gold mix, and one was Bogart, who was also a rescue dog. He was a St. Bernard, and they were the loves of my life, as we can all know how that goes. We love our animals like they're our children. So I'd had them for many, many years. They died within a year and a half of one another. So needless to say, I was devastated. So, of course, how we heal our hearts is to get another dog. So I went and got another rescue dog named Stogie, uh, who I still have today. And when I was looking for something that Stogie could wear on his collar that would honor the memory of Bogart and Johnson, I really couldn't find anything except for maybe like a one-off tag that I could buy on Etsy or something, you know, like a customizable tag. So um, I started brainstorming some ideas with my business partner, Carla, how we could really create something that is unique that tells a story of your pet or you or both. And that can also be fashionable and fun to wear at the same time. You know, I really like that idea because I have the collar of my dog that passed before I got Mr. Zeus. I love the collar. There's actually a, a silver tag that I made for her on it. So it's memorable that way. But otherwise, it's just a collar. I mean, she wore it, but it's just a collar. It's It would mm-hmm. be nice to have something that was a little bit more you know, personalized for her style, you know, her memory to me. Oh, absolutely. And that's why we came up with it. So it's it's meant to tell your pet story. So if your dog likes squirrels, we have a squirrel charm. Or if your dog's a diva, we have a diva charm. Or if you like to drink wine, which I do, we have a wine glass charm. So you can decorate the collar with whatever charms you want that basically tells your story kind of like, you know, kind of like a Pandora bracelet. Okay, let's talk about how it works, because this is kind of Pandora bracelet would be a good way to describe it, because unlike some that I've seen, not as nice collars, but a couple here and there that have things that slide on, yours are made super well, made with the, I guess, robust dog in mind, and they actually screw on. And for everybody listening, to get a good description there, I have um, the samples of red one that's um, a themed, a holiday themed, and then a gorgeous blue one. And it has a, a variety of charms. And the charms actually screw in on to the charm. So they can't just pull off. I mean, have they ever come off with, even with dog play, they are well on here. What is your process to um, get the charms on the colors, Cheryl? Well, when we first came up with the concept, we did spend several months trying to figure out how is the best way to affix the charms, have them be completely stable, but not also have them be bulky or having anything sticking out on the, the back, you know, on the inside of the collar. So we went through months and months of research and development. And what we came up with is the, the charms have a little back on them 
So the, our collars are genuine leather, and on them there are seven spots to attach the charms, with the exception of the mini collar, which we're also making into a bracelet, and that has five spots. So you pick your charms. So they have a little a post on the back. And so when you put it through the hole, it goes not all the way through per se. It goes like to the end and then there's a flat screw back that screws in on the back. So if you flip the collar over and you run your hand across the back, it's flat back there. So it's a great concept because they're completely stable or design, I should say, but there's nothing sticking out on the inside of the collar to go into the your pet's neck. So we wanted to make sure because most dogs are rambunctious. Well, my dog is not heat sleeps all the time, but most dogs, you know, you have to create something that's durable so that it doesn't just pop off when they're running around playing outside. Yes. And this is quite durable because, right, if it runs off and they're playing and they just, they chew something, then that won't happy, have a very happy ending. So this is very durable. And you actually include a screwdriver with every collar? Yes, we do. It's a magnetic tipped screwdriver. So it's very easy to get the charms on and off. So you could design your collar, for example, and pick a squirrel and a diva and a wine glass and a skull and crossbones or whatever you want to put on it. But let's say now it's holiday time. You can easily screw those out and just pop in some different ones. You can put the snowman or the stocking or Rudolph, the reindeer or whatever you want on it. And you can use that same collar for multiple events, occasions, causes, just if you want to, you know, switch it up and have a different look for fun. So it's meant to be a forever collar that you can change the look whenever you feel like. I like that forever collar because, you know, well-made collars will be forever collars. And this is very well-made. Can you, I guess you can have a collection of charms too. Like some women have their Pandoras and various charms and they, or, or I'm saying Pandora, but there's other brands out there as well that they switch off the beads and during different seasonal times, you know, they decorate it per theme. I guess you can do that too and, and put the put the call out to all your, your relatives that your fur baby prefers this for his birthday or her birthday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know, as a matter of fact, eventually down the road, we want to have something like a, a, oh, I can't think what it's called, when you're getting married and you have where people can go on and like see what oh, you want. Registry? We're going to have something like a like, registry? Yes. Thank you. Yes. So we want to have something like that down the road where you can actually, someone can go on and they can look up my dog and, and I could say like what kind of terms he might like. Now that's, that's a little bit ways in the future, but it's also, in addition to creating something for your own pet, it makes a really, really fun gift because if you know, if you have a, a friend or a family member that has pets and you try to go find something unique, sometimes it's a little challenging to do that. So what this allows you to do too is if you want to do it for a gift, you can buy the collar and let's say one charm, for example, you can give it as a gift and then the pet owner then can go online and pick out whatever other charms they want to fill it up. So it's a really fun, unique gift in that uh, from that perspective because you don't have to design the whole thing for the pet owner. You can just you know pick one and let, let them do the rest. That's such a great idea. And what I also love about it is it's gorgeous. And as I said in my intro, you know, it adds a little bling, especially this holiday theme color that I have because the red stones and that are very sparkly. And it adds a little bling, especially for those pooches that won't wear anything. And I have Mr. Z's about 50 pounds on a good day. And he... <laughs> He, I'm glad he wears his belly band now because he he's a senior dog, but he mm-hmm. does not like to wear clothes. He stands, if I put a rain, like a, a sweater or a raincoat on him, I'm at, we're in, in South Florida, so it's more likely a raincoat. He stands still mm-hmm. like he's stuck. He won't move. <laughs> and mm-hmm. I try to coax him, you know, you can move. It's, it's just the raincoat. And it's, you know, of course, a doggy raincoat. Stand right. still. So it's really hard. He can't dress up or anything. And yet my little one, Nikki, is a Havanese who's crazy. And I could probably dress him up if I can get him to stay still enough. But that's a challenge, too. However, how easy is it to put a collar on your fur kit? right? Oh, absolutely. And we do have blingy. We have some charms that are really blingy. And then we have some that would be, let's say, for the tough guy dog. Like we've got spikes and we've got a skull and crossbones and we have a motorcycle and, you know, things like that. So we wanted to make sure that this wasn't just going to be for the 
a little Yorkie or whatever kind of dog. You know, that's that's what a lot of people envision when they're thinking like a blingy or blitzy or designer or collar or whatever. They always kind of picture it for the smaller dog. But we were actually quite surprised that our mix of clientele is, it really runs the gamut. We obviously have a lot of the Yorkies and the multi poos and, and those kind of dogs, but we have a lot of pit bulls and Great Danes and Dobermans and all kinds of dogs that, I mean, we're really happy to see that our product appeals to those kind of dogs, but that's because of the way we designed the charms. You, you can have your big tough guy dog and he can have some really cool charms on his collar that aren't just, you know, blingy per se. So, and we also made the collars, they're genuine leather and they're very nice quality leather, but we purposely made them a little lighter because we didn't want the collar like weighing down the neck of the, the dog or the cat. So although they're high quality, they're light in nature, which makes it nice for the pet. Yes. And also since um, we're talking about it, but we're going to, of course, let you know the website so you can go and see these gorgeous collars for yourself. Of course, there's also the standard ring so you could put, you know, your ID a tag on it the rabies tag depending where you live and that kind of stuff so you still have the Mm -hmm. little wing where you can put your basics all right we're going to take a short break and we're going to tell you that you can also get these collies for your kitty and how concha gives back we'll be right back Hey everyone, Michelle Fern here. You know how they say you are what you eat? Well, guess what? Same is true for your fur babe. Did you know that 80% of the immune system is influenced by the gut and that supporting the immune system through proper diet and digestive health helps your pet to better fight environmental allergies? It's true. I have a grandpa dog, as I call him. Mr. Z is now 14. And over the years, you know, he's had his issues, but lately he's had a lot of allergies. And I've recently put him on a solid gold diet, and I have noticed a major difference. His arthritis, doggy arthritis, doesn't seem to bother him as much. His old dog nose has healed up very nicely. He just has a different kind of a spirit. He just seems overall better. And I attribute that to what he's eating, his solid gold food. Solid gold foods are different than a lot of the pet foods out there because they cleanse the digestive system with whole superfoods, they're balanced with living probiotics, and they're fueled with omega-3 and 6 fatty acids, which supports gut health and nourishes your pet inside and out. And right now, Solid Gold is offering an amazing offer to all of our listeners. Yep, right now you can get 30% off your first order by visiting solidgoldpet.com slash petlife. That's solidgoldpet.com slash petlife for 30% off your first order. Go ahead and take advantage of this great offer. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. We're talking to Cheryl of Concha Collars, and we were just talking about how gorgeous they are, and I love the bling. I really love this, Cheryl. I love how they're, how you thought of the pet parent. So, you know, because, you know, maybe the dog knows he's wearing bling or she's wearing bling. I'm not sure, but it's mostly for the pet parent, you know, to show off your mm-hmm. boots. But you thought of the verbi because, like you said earlier, the back is totally smooth and the the um, charms are super secure. Now, they also, they're mostly, you have a lot of dog sizes. You have a kitty one. It's not a breakaway. So it's really for more like a dress up, a kind of event for your kitty. But tell mm-hmm. us a little about the kitty collar. Well, the kitty collar, well, we have a kitty themed collar, by the way, but that has a little mouse on it, a little mouse face and kitty ears. And it's really, really cute. But with the mini collar or my cat actually wears the small size collar and you can dress, you can design that just as you would a, a dog collar. We are going to come up with breakaway collars, but that's not going to be for a while down the road. But you're absolutely right. It's really, you want to dress up your pet or you're having company coming over and you want your cat to look really cute. Then you can choose terms, you know, just like you would 
for your dog. Yes. And we know how kitties are. So if you have an active one if you, and you put the kitty collar on your, your kitty, just uh, keep an eye on them. If they're like mine, active only in the evenings mostly and at night they like to lay around, then you're probably safe during the day. It just depends. Yeah. And then you also have, and thank you for this sample. I think this is really cool. You also have something for the pet parents. You have keychains. Yes, we do. And they come in the same colors as our collars. They're leather keychains and they come in black, red, aqua, and pink, just like our collars. And on the keychains, there is one spot for a charm. So it's kind of fun. Like on mine, I've got the little martini glass because I think it's cute. Um, But I switch it out all the time. You know, last week I had the one that's a dog mom on there. So it's just one charm. So it's really fun for the pet parent. to I hang it on my purse and I just change up the charm whenever I feel like it. It's just, it's really fun to have. And it's, you can match your pets. If your dog has a red collar, you know, you could have your red keychain too. And, and I actually have goosebumps saying this, but It's also a nice gift for someone to, if they're one, just becoming a pet parent, you know, because you also Mm -hmm. have like the paw charm and also in a way to commemorate, you know, a lost pet to, you know, Mm -hmm. give them, put a charm on the keychain that is uh, in remembrance of their pet, you know, like you have the squirrel if it's an adventurous pooch or maybe the um, fire hydrant if it always went outside and hit every fire hydrant in the down the street or <laughs> something like that so that's i think that's another option which is really unique too you know because it's it's hard to find things for a pet parent who's lost a pet and you know it's for something to commemorate their pet that something they could also have with them all, like all the time oh yes So let's talk also about you guys also, and you mentioned you have rescues. Yay, because I love rescues. I have a, I have a zoo of them (laughs) and (laughs) I do really, there's like seven. So, um, oh wow. Yeah. Well, two are outdoors because that's how they are. They're community cats that are, they're taken care of. They're not just fed. So, but they, the dad would do well indoors, not the mom. So they're outdoors, but they even have their own little house. So, you know, I'm, oh, I'm that's cute. one of those crazy pet moms. But let's yeah, talk about your concha cookies for rescues. I love that. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Yes. Well, so we, you know, we're crazy animal lovers, of course. So we wanted to be able to help pets that were in shelters or at, you know, within rescue organizations. So we have what we call our Contra Cookies program. And what that is, so when we first started calling around a bunch of shelters and rescues saying, you know, what is it that you always need? And each one of them had an iteration of things, you know, food or blankets or this or that. But everybody said treats. They always need treats. So we thought, all right, let's try to see what we can do in the treat aspect. So what we do is we take a certain percentage of our sales and then we donate treats to different rescues and shelters. And we love doing it because obviously it's needed and it makes us feel good that we're giving back to so many animals that are in need. So yeah, that was a big, always going to be a big initiative of ours uh, with this company is that we wanted to try to make a difference with uh, homeless pets. Well, I love that because there's unfortunately way too many homeless pets and oh, yeah. my dream would be to have a huge ranch and have, you know, like a hundred dogs and cats and all that. Oh, but but, but till that comes to fruition, I could just, you know, spread the my voice. And as far as for we're all about, you know, rescue and adopt, don't shop and all of that. And I know some people shop and that's it's fine if you want to go that way. I'm not. I'm not pushing my views on anybody, but there's so many different types of rescues these days and so many types of shelters. And so, you know, there's so many purebred rescues, you know, greyhound rescues and, you know, terrier rescues and pit bull rescues. All, there's so many of them these days. How do you decide on which shelter? Do you have a list that's local to you that you donate to? Yeah, we have a list, and then once a month we get together, my business partner and I, we, we kind of decide, okay, you know, we did some in Chicago this month, you know, we're going to try some in you know, Indiana the next month. or So we kind of just, we try to switch it up so we're not doing all Chicago. But, I mean, but Chicago would be enough to keep us busy forever because, you know, we live here, but we want to, we try to spread the love to other states as well. And, you know, sometimes even something will come across Facebook, I'll see a really heartwarming story or a dog that's in horrific shape that this rescue had to spend, you know, thousands of dollars on or whatever. And sometimes just something like that will trigger our hearts and we'll say, okay, you know what? So next time we're going to donate to, you know, XYZ pet rescue or whatever. So 
but as you know, there's no end to them. I mean, there's thousands of them and that need help and, and need stuff. So we just kind of go with what we feel is most, which ones are most needing, I guess, at the time. Good way to go. And they, like you said, they all need treats and they all need whatever you can give. So that's great that you do that. And now I'd like to, for you, how can people get their own Concha Collar? Okay, well, we have a website and it's ConchaCollar.com and that is spelled C-O-N-C-H-A-C-O-L-L-A-R, ConchaCollar.com. You can shop for collars and charms separately, but we also have themed collars. So if you don't feel like trying to figure out what you want, we've put some together like a diva collar, uh, a designer collar, dog's favorite things, so on and so forth. We even have a, a wedding collar because it's so many, uh, so many parents are having their pets in their wedding nowadays. It's becoming very popular. So we even came up with like a little wedding themed collar for parents to put on their dogs or cats that are going to be in their weddings. So yeah, it's really easy to order online. That's a great idea, too, the wedding theme collar. And for everybody that's listening, if you're exercising or driving or something, on the show page for this episode, there's going to be a link to Concha Collars, and there'll also be um, a picture as well. So if you're, you know, working out or driving, um, don't worry. We got you covered. Just go to PetLifeRadio.com, go to um, the Best Bets for Pets uh, show page, and on this episode, and there'll be the link so you have all the info you, you need. All right, so Cheryl, before you go, I know we talked about this a little, but conchie collars are in a range of sizes, right? So if I have a Great Dane and a Yorkie, I can get collars for each one? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Our mini size, which is our smallest, goes for a pet with a 6 to 8 inch neck. And then our extra large collar goes all the way up to a 24 inch neck. So we have a pretty wide variety of sizes. Okay, and then does your small collar also double as a bracelet for the pet parent? Yes. Well, right now, it closes as our other collars do. It has a, a traditional buckle kind of closure. We are in the process, literally as we speak, of changing the mini collar where it will have a snap closure. And then not only is that going to be better for the very teeny dogs or cats because you won't have any extra leather that's you know going through the buckle and the whole thing, it will also double as a bracelet. So we have had a huge interest and people wanting bracelets so that then they can go ahead and match their dog. So it, the bracelet will have five spots on it, as well as the mini collar. It'll have five spots where the pet owner can design their bracelet however they want. Okay. And are there any other new products coming up that you could share with us? Uh, yes. We are actually in the process of developing some leashes. Uh, which is another big request we've gotten. So, for example, if your dog is a big, hairy, I don't know, Australian Shepherd or something that has a lot of hair, sometimes the collars, you know, can't really see a collar on those kind of dogs. And so we've had a lot of requests for leashes. So the leashes will be genuine leather, just like our collars, and they're going to be in the same colors, the same four colors. We are going to offer some that won't have any places to put charms. And then we're going to offer some that will have, we're going to have three spots for charms kind of near where the, the clasp hooks on to the, to the dog's collar. So that way, when you're walking your dog, people look down and they go to pet the dog, but the charms will be just a little bit above that. So, and then they won't get in the way of the handle or anything. You know, we don't want them at the top because if you're holding the, the leash, we don't want any charms to get in the way. So, so we're going to give the people an option that, that would just like a nice leather leash or the same thing with the collars. There will be places where you can pick out charms and design the leash. Oh, I love that. I love that because... A lot of people would think, oh, the charms would be by the leash, you know, but depending on how you're holding the leash, the charms would get in the way and then you don't see it. So, um, right. and it could make it more awkward for some when they're trying to control the dog. So that is a great idea. Fabulous well, idea. You. And this also makes, for everybody listening, this also makes a fantastic gift for the pet parent, soon to be pet parent, for your little, you know, child that loves their dog, but they, you know, can't be totally responsible yet for the dog, you can have them get involved in, you know, picking out the different charms or, or helping change the charms. I could just think of so many gift ideas for this, the conjure collars. Also right now, with regard to the charms, we've got about 90 designs and we're always coming out with new designs. So whenever we're at a, some sort of a show or a, a dog event, 
people are always giving their ideas, like what type of things they, they want to see. Like we've had a lot of people want to see like a, a money term, you know, like a dollar sign term. And it's just, it's endless. You know, there are so many fun, cute ideas that we can come up with. So we are going to be constantly, you know, coming out with new ones all the time. And we always take, you know, feedback from our customers. If, if some, if, you know, if you think of one that you think would be really fantastic, you know, let us know and we'll see what we can do. So what you see on our site will continue to grow as far as the, the options that you'll have. Oh, that's great. And that's enormous that you have 90 and it's going to keep growing. So there is something for everyone listening. There is something out there for you or the recipient of your gift. There is something out there. So Cheryl, thank you so much for coming on Best Bets for Pets and telling us all about the Concha Collars. I think they're gorgeous. And folks, this is a great gift for yourself, for your pooch, for someone that just lost a pooch. There's so many great gift ideas. And again, thank you so much, Cheryl, for coming on Best Bets for Pets. Well, thank you for having me. Okay, for all of you out there listening, the concha collars are adorable and they're so sturdy. I, I'm in love with them. I've never seen a collar so well made with charms before ever. So I want to thank Nikki and Zeus, Mr. Z, for testing the collars. I'm telling you, Mr. Z felt like a new man and he's a senior dog, but he was blinging out. And I'd like to thank my guest for coming on Best Bets for Pets. I'd like to thank my producer, Mark Winter, for making me and my guests sound fabulous. And of course, to everyone listening, thank you for listening to Best Bets for Pets. We're coming on, I think, close to over 300 shows. So, wow. And also, as I mentioned during the show, if you miss something or, you know, you want to go to the website, didn't have a chance to write it down, just go to the PetLifeRadio.com page. Go to the show list, click on Best Bets for Pets, and you can scroll through the episodes. And, of course, they're in order from most recent and then further on. And you'll see this episode and click on that, and there'll be a link to the website. Keep listening. You never know what great products we're going to be coming out with. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.